It's a perfect afternoon on February 27th, 2022, and we're in Michigan City, Indiana on the Chicago South Shore and South Bend Railroad. Today, we're watching train 506 head westbound down the famous street running at 11th Street in Michigan City. February 28th would be the last full day of street running in Michigan City, as the Chicago South Shore was starting a double tracking project which included the elimination of street running in this area. We take in this train one more time as it will be our last chance to see a train running through the street during the day. Afterwards, we take a look at the street running that has been made famous over many years. With 506 clear and needing to continue our journey home, we headed east down 11th Street in Michigan City. The South Shore Line is operated by the Northern Indiana Commuter Transportation District, or the NICTD. It runs between Millennium Station in downtown Chicago and the South Bend International Airport. Their main maintenance facility is at the Carroll Street Station in Michigan City, Indiana. The line dates back to 1901 and was built by the Chicago South Shore and South Bend Railroad, which still operates freight service. As mentioned previously, the passenger service has been split off. Originally, the line was operated privately and is known for having some of the most well-known interurban coaches in the United States with those classic orange Chicago South Shore coaches. In 1989, the passenger service went into public operation by the NICTD. During the same time period, the freight operations were split to Shortline Operator, Anacosta and Pacific, and continued operating under the same name. An interesting quirk of the street running was that trains would stop at red lights, just like we have here. Once the light goes green, the train would continue on its journey.
Here we are passing the former site of the Chicago South Shore and South Bend passenger station, which was torn down and will be replaced with double track. You can still see remnants of the passenger shelter. It was reported that some aspects of the station were saved for future use on a building in that spot. Just east of the station is a famous S-curve which features some slightly heavier grades as the train goes with the grading of the road along with the curvature. As the street running finishes up, it straightens out, and the tracks then lead to the Carroll Street Station and Carroll Street Terminal. This would end our time on the Chicago South Shore and be our last time to likely see a train running down the middle of the street. While it's not 100% clear if all of the street running will be gone, it is more than likely that most of it will be fully eliminated. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe for future rail fanning videos.